The calendar has flipped to October, which meant one thing, the start of Trinity League play for the Olu football team as they hosted Modern Day at Orange Coast College Friday night. All we ask each other, accept the outcome and play your tail off every play for each other. If you do that, we'll be fine. Olu did not waste any time hitting the Monarchs early. A third and eight from the 43 on their first drive. Senior quarterback LJ Northington rolls to his right, finds Dominic Austin on the screen, and he stretches it out for the first down to the 34. Next play, Northington on the keeper. Great blocking up front by the offensive line. Northington hits the sprint button and goes 34 yards for the touchdown. It's seven to nothing Olu. But modern day is not the turn. 38 seconds later, freshman QB Jonathan Daniels is gonna heave one up. Malone Matele has some great coverage but Osiris St. Brown catches Matele and the ball an 80 yard touchdown strike and modern day ties it up 7 to 7 in the first pick it up second quarter still tied at 7 Olu backed up against their own goal line coach Peterson goes with the play action and Northington executes finds a wide open Brandon McKinney outside to the 50 a couple plays later on third and 21 at their own 38 Northington he's one up to Austin Lyles and he turns around makes the catch and out sprints the Monarchs defense a 62 yard touchdown strike Northington over 100 yards on the drive alone he had 281 yards on the night just before half score now tied at 14 a third and five northington on the pitch to mckinney he stiff arms one and gets inside the 30 for the first a couple plays later same play different guy markel quinn uses all five eight of his frame stretches into the end zone touchdown lancers they lead 21 to 14 to halftime out of the locker room though the monarchs hit oluhar daniels who had a big game for the second time is going to hit osiris st brown this time down the other sideline and he sprints away from the defenders. Another 80-yard touchdown strike. Game is tied at 21. Modern Day would add two more touchdowns and extend the lead 35-21 but no quit in this Lancers team. Down by 14, late third quarter, why not go back to the well? Northington on the play action, looks left and finds who else? Dependable Austin Lyles, 86 yards to the house. His second touchdown of the game, he had six catches for 178 yards. Olu now down 35-28, following a stop by the defense. The Lancers looking to tie it up on third and eight. What a play by Northington as he gets clobbered. Gets it to Dominic Austin, who rumbles down inside the 20. The Lancers in business. Couple plays later, a second down and 13, and Northington, as the pocket collapse, is going to scramble, and here he comes right into your living room, dives to the pylon, touchdown. Tie game with eight minutes to go, 35 all. But the backbreaker on this night was on the next drive. A third and six near midfield. Daniels is going to find a wide open Brandon LaMarche out of the backfield and LaMarche takes it the distance for his third score of the night. The Monarchs would add one more later on and beat Alou 49 to 35. The Lancers fall to three and three on the year, but will look for some revenge next week when they head to Cerritos College to take on Servite. Kickoff is set for 7 p.m. Special thanks to Kennedy Reed, Sam Crockman, and Johnny Hallen with his production. For the Orange Luther Network, I'm Dave Cacciaputi.